Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Got a good one for you today. DraftKings is still killing me. Uh, they haven't added any of the bets, so I'm going to be using FanDuel, uh, which I don't typically do, but I'll be using FanDuel for today's episode uh, until DraftKings updates their website. Uh, I will show you right now. DraftKings is a POS. They still have nothing on. I'm not trying to be deceitful. Oh, that's FanDuel. Hang on. Why? Yep, they have nothing up until Christian and Billy. Uh, we will get to uh, that next week. Uh, for today, it's Virgil Ortiz and Serhi Bahocek in what should be an interesting fight. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the little ticker below. Uh, the Patreon gets you the lock of the week. It gets you the updated props. It gets you asked to bookie anything. Ask me to handicap any fight. I can do that for you. Just let me know. Uh, I request a video, whatever you guys need. I will show you how to make money on any single fight that you want, every fight that there is. Uh, odds for it. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. So. Let's get into today's show. Virgil Ortiz, front foot, and both these guys are similar stylistically. Just one guy's a lot better at it than the other. A lot more athletic, a lot stronger, bigger hitter. And by the end of the episode, you'll certainly know who I'm leaning towards. Um, and it's a front. He's a Virgil Ortiz, a front foot heavy guy. Uh, works behind a, a shotgun jab. Stays behind the height guard. Really works behind that heavy, heavy jab. He throws everything hard. Everything is a fastball, so to speak. Even his change of fastballs, uh, if that makes sense. Defensively responsible, high guard, elbows tight. He's fundamentally sound for what he is. He comes, he comes at you, elbows in. He's got terrific feet. He works angles. He's really, really for a seek and destroy guy. He's as good as it gets. Good bounce to his step. Uh, you know, he's not slow and plotting for a front, front foot guy, which is often the stereotype. He's got good bounce to his step, good angles. He has terrific feet. He's an amazing body puncher. I use that shotgun jab to get you in a guard to shell up, and then he rips it to the body. Really terrific body puncher. Terrific combination puncher. Like I said, his, his feet, he's got great feet. His feet keep him in position to fire off combinations. The footwork is excellent, and the footwork sets up. A lot of the hard shots that he throws, especially on the inside, he's physically strong as a mule. And he mixes his shots up very, very well. Head, body, he uh, mixes up his combinations. There's just a lot to like about Virgil Ortiz. He's excellent at cutting off the ring. He will pin you. He will trap you. Like I said, he's fairly athletic, good feet. He's got all the recipes to be a great seek and destroy guy. Uh, he's got a really good quick counter right hand as well. It's accurate. It's quick. It's sharp. It's, again, everything he throws is hard. He's blowing everyone away in this comeback. The last time he was even really pushed was by Hooker. Michael McKinson back in 2022 survived, kind of. You know, he took it into the eighth round, I believe, trying to survive, kind of what it is. Starts fast. He can blow you out. He can get rid of you quick. He's got back-to-back first-round knockouts. And he places his body shots well. He's really good. Statistically, his, uh, his his accuracy on the outside is really good. On the pocket and on the inside, he's he loves to trade. He's vicious. It, it, he's close to an A plus fighter. There's not much for a seek and destroy guy. There's not much to grade him on. Bahachuk, you know, I always say, wait, back to Ortiz. I, I I always say great fighters don't get hit that much, regardless of what their style is. They don't get hit a lot. He really doesn't get hit a lot. He really does. For a guy that he doesn't get hit a lot, Boa Chuck, um, all right, good fighter, straight up and down, come forward guy as well, jab heavy, not as tight, not as clean in his combinations, not as tight and clean defensively, not a bad fighter at all, but he just doesn't do, he, he fights stylistically in a similar fashion to Virgil Ortiz, he's just not nearly as good. Uh, doesn't have the same feet, doesn't have the same quickness, doesn't have the same bounce to his, his step. 
But like I said, stylistically, he's, he's similar to Virgil. He's just not as good at it, not even close. Has accurate shots from long range, kind of. You know, at times he can be accurate. At, at times he kind of smothers his own work. Keeps his jab going. He throws in decent volume. He, he's an excellent volume guy. He's a, he's a good pressure fighter. Straight in, straight out. He's not hard to hit. And that's basically like what I see is the major difference. That that is predicated upon his footwork. He does not have great feet. And he's not difficult to hit. There's not a lot of slipping. There's not a lot of head movement. He's got heavy hands. But he, he gets hit a lot. Uh, you know, so far, Mendoza, a lot to, uh, He's been able to land more than he gets hit by a lot, right? But it just it's he's never faced anyone like Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz is is a wrecking ball, and just coming at him face first with with volume ain't gonna get it done with Virgil Ortiz. Um, like I said, he he stays on on, on you. He seems. Slow, he doesn't have the speed, he's easy to hit, but he stays on you. He keeps the punches coming. He's got nice counter hooks. The, the, the left hook counter shot is probably his best shot. He's a good counter puncher, he's got a good ca- gas tank. He can beat a lot of guys off that. He's not going to beat Virgil Ortiz. He's got the long jab. He likes to sit and trade. If you sit and trade with Virgil, Virgil is much better on the inside. Virgil is much more accurate. He's also a much stronger guy, he can physically push him back and beat him up. But Bahachuk is a good counter puncher. Bahachuk is a B level fighter, I think. Yeah, he can you know, maybe B plus. Virgil Ortiz is an A or an A plus level fighter. Bahachuk loses to the A fighters and beats everyone else. Unfortunately for him tonight, well, on this Saturday, Virgil Ortiz is an A an A fighter, so he's going to lose to him. And let's look at the odds on this because I I, I like the odds of this. There's nothing on the stoppage, so come back and join us. But at minus two ninety. I would make this a one and a half times bet. A one and a half times bet is going to win you fifty one seventy two, which is not terrible. That's a good bet for someone that is relatively easy stylistically for Virgil. I'm not saying it's going to be an easy fight, but I, I don't see a, a a path to victory for Bodge other than landing something, you know, miraculous. I, I really don't see it. So this is good money. I really like this bet. And when we come back, I like Virgil Ortiz by stoppage. Virgil Ortiz has obviously stopped every single opponent he's been in with. I don't think Bahachuk is going to be much different. I think this is a relatively easy – not easy. I don't want to use the word easy. I think he stops him. I think that's a safe bet, and I can't wait to see the odds on the stop. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the little ticket below. When they do drop the props on this, come on back. Let's take a look at it. Join the Patreon. I will go over – do we take the under? Do we take the stoppage? What what exactly how do we bet this? But I love Virgil Ortiz. I would make whatever my normal bet is, in this case, hundred dollars, I'd make it one and a half times, make some money on this. This is a gift right now. I really believe that Virgil Ortiz, money line, minus 150. This is a terrific bet to build your parlay around. Uh, you can add two safe bets to this, which we will go over more as the week goes. Uh, as more things drop. There's an actual lot of fights this week, so it won't be difficult to build this. But this is a good foundation to build your parlay around, and it's a great st- standalone bet too. And when Virgil Ortiz by stoppage comes out, I want to see the odds on that because I'm very interested in that. All right, y'all. It is uh, August 5th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.